So today we're going to review some self-defense moves. Um, a few common moves that happen in confrontation is usually to push, to shove, uh, to choke, to win, to throw. So we're going to address those issues. We're going to address the paymakers. Okay, so the first one usually happens is uh, confrontation is usually to shove. All right? So uh, Dan's going to shove me. All right? So he's going to shove me anywhere he wants. Go ahead and shove me. Boom. Okay, so it's very important when you get shoved is to take a step back. No, no. If you don't take a step back, you're going to roll on your heel. You're going to fall backwards. So take that natural instinct to step back. Show me. It's hard to get. This is right here. <laughs> See that? Come to step back. The second thing you want to do is this. After a shove, if this guy really wants to beat me up, he'll throw some kind of punch and stuff. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, do a thing called prayer position. All right. So what you do is you bring your hand together, you come up, you pop in your head, and go open up into a monkey grip. Okay. So it looks like this. Boom. Okay. So when he shoves me. That. That's all you want to do. Okay? One more time. Boom. Okay? Try to reserve your rear leg to the side that you're right with, your dominant side. Okay? So when he shoves me, boom, up. Alright? Again, shoves, boom. Okay? You notice how when I shoves out, I'm going to turn my palm toward his face and my wrist is right here. Okay? Because if he tries to throw hooks after that, I'm in control of his body. Alright? So one more time. He shoves, boom. He tries to grab me. He can't. Okay? Watch what happens now. He tries to grab me. I'm going to slide my hand toward his tricep and control his tricep right here. Okay? If the fight gets really bad, all I have to do is pull him in. For, for, you, uh, for the women out there, just pull your knee and poke the groin. Okay? So when the friend comes in and shoves me, he tries to grab me, bam, right there, the groin. That's it. Alright? Again, one more time. Boom. For training purposes, you want to go for the thigh or the stomach. Okay? So one more time. Shoves, bang, boom. On this side, sorry. One more time, shoves, boom. See this? Automatically, his momentum is going to come in and slide towards his hand. That's it, monkey. Your handlebar position, right here. You're going to pull him in, okay, right here, bang. Alright, now we're going to work the slap, the open hand slap the back of the head. So you want to hit where the nerves went up, the back of the leg. Okay, so remember what I talked about the dominant hand in the back? So watch what happens when he shoves me. I'm going to shove, I'm going to slap. Okay, make sure you cup your hand. I'm going to slap at your drum. If your reach is long enough or he's close enough, slap it back at the head. Okay, look up Rodney King's uh, Crazy Monkey Boxing Defense. Uh, on his website, he addressed the issue of the slap, open hand slap. It works really well. Okay, so one more time, you push. Bang, back at the head. Alright, for the advanced practitioner, if you want, you've coordinated in some judo training. Watch what happens when he push me. I'm going to drag his hand over across the body of a slap. If I do this hard enough, he's going to go down to the ground. Alright, so one more time. You push, drag it, boom! Like that. Alright, thanks. Okay, so that's what you want. But my, my suggestion is go for the slap first. If you happen to get this grip, just drag it across. So one more time. You push, I take a step back. You want to come up. This protects everything. He might come in and hit my face, whatever. I'm protected. Okay? You can just slap, throw the knee, then right away slap. Back of the hand. You see this here? I'm just going to pull it across. You know you get this move right when you drag it across between hip, his, hip one and right hip one. So one more time. You push. Bang! Right there. Alright? So that addresses the push. Okay, so what happens is this. If this gets really complicational, you're going to use the wall to your advantage. Okay, so he shoves me. Boom! I'm going to stick up my hand and do a thing called stiff form or the Eisman trophy. Uh, what do you call the Eisman? Heisman. Heisman. Mm -hmm. Okay? So watch what happens. You push. Boom! We're going to work the palm strike. Okay? The traditional karate palm strike. But we're going to modify it a little bit. We're going to slide our hand up and we're going to snap his neck back as we run him backwards. Okay? That causes him to get a whiplash. So one more time, we'll do it slow because I don't want to hurt down. Here, palm strike, watch what happens. I'm going to run, bang, ask him how it feels, I'm run hard. Boom. Okay? Just that alone will give you a tactical advantage. So one more time. Boom, palm strike, bang. Keep on running. Okay? Whichever side his head turns, make sure his neck is exposed. You're going to hammer strike to the back of his neck. I mean, the side of his throat or his face, whatever. Alright? So what you're going to do is this. When you're in a confrontation, if there's an obstacle behind him, be it a chair, a wall, other, a big crowd, that's what you want. You want to make sure he stays within two to three feet from that obstacle. Anything more than that is hard to shove that person back. 
So one more time, shoves me, arms straight, work back, make sure you stiffen your arm, and pound the fist, whatever. Okay, for the people who are not as strong, okay, or smaller guys, you want to fuse your body. So what happens if you stiffen your arm, you're going to bring your shoulder and your jawline together, face down a little bit, so you're forming a tripod. Okay, with a battle man, I'm going to come right in. Make sure you don't lock your elbow up, that's kind of bad for yourself, so you want to bend it a little bit. And come right in, tuck in your chin, that will reinforce the shove. Alright, so one more time, let's do it from this wall. One more time, push, bang, right across. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to hit the nose and go upward. Turn, and then you just replace it, the body, whatever. Alright, so that addresses the common shove, alright. My suggestion is this, give the guy a chance to not fight, so, you know, always protect yourself, but at the same time, let him back away. So I usually go like this, when you shove me, man, hey, come on, I don't want any problems, I don't want any problem, man, bang, right in, have a strike, whatever. Alright, what happens is this, let's say you are a girl and you feel, or when you die, you feel you don't have uh, power to shove someone. I do the next thing called the fan, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to stick up your hand, you're going to put your fingers past his eye a little bit and you're going to fan it across. You're not moving your hand, you want to fan your wrist. Because after you fan, you can go right to the shove again. So one more time, he shoves me, boom, I'm going to stick it up and fan it across his eye. That will protect his eyelash. Alright, from there, it goes straight in. That's something you, can, you guys can do to play with.